Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Window, and I'm speaking with... Taylor. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. How are you doing? Yeah, good. good. How's your I.O.? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty fantastic. I really love the direction it took this year. It's uh, more like optimizing the Android for better use, so it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been really exciting. <clears throat> um, how about you tell us um, where you're based and how you got started doing Android? Oh yeah, sure. Um, I'm based in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Awesome. So yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's quite far away, like 18 hours flight time. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I start um, evolving in Android design like maybe two and a half years ago when I saw this opportunity um, when Android design was still pretty bad at that time. <laughs> yeah, so there's no guideline basically. Right. So I yeah step in and. See this opportunity to optimize things around, mm -hmm. and and during the time Holo Design starts coming in, and it was cool. It was cool be, uh, because it's like a precursor, precursor for uh, material mm -hmm. design. I mean, mm -hmm. if without Holo Design, there would be no material design, I believe. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. I mean, like joining the journey, uh, uh, working with the community is is fun. It's fun. Like like people discuss um, things like what's good, what's bad, mm -hmm. and. and and when during the <clears throat> during the whole design time, there was a lot of interaction pattern that doesn't feel right. So right, as a community, right. we right. actually criticize them. Mm -hmm. you know, like we say, this is not right at all, and all that. And and, and Google actually listens. Mm -hmm. I mean, their team try to optimize the interaction pattern and make it better mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's pretty exciting uh, to, to to actually you know join the dialogues and, 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 and actually talk to the people who actually concern about the design in, in the community. So what was it so what was your feeling last year? So last year when they announced material and, and uh, you kinda of saw the realization of all these yeah. things. How is what, what how did that feel? Was it Oh it's yeah it's, <laughs> yeah it feels so 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 amazing like I, I cannot believe that. Uh, it's it's a brand new direction uh, uh, they they are taking in. And of course the you know they they, they, they understand that it's a big change. So mm -hmm. as I mentioned just now, why I'm so excited about this year, it's not about they, they didn't do any changes in material design. Mm -hmm. It's more like they know material design is good and mm -hmm. it's there to stay. Mm -hmm. So they are optimizing Android around that. Right. Yeah. So you get a better user experience exactly, with the, yeah. with the, um, with the uh, material design that they already established. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and the reason why um, I think it's a good direction because you know sometimes you, you really need time to to establish the maturity of a, of a UI pattern and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I mean one year is definitely not enough. So you need a couple of years for people who actually use to the platform and right, that, right. And and get the it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise you will feel oh things change again and you will right. feel very awkward and very strange. Mm -hmm. You have to you know, get used to a new platform again. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, last year uh, when I when I talked to some Googlers and uh, hey man, you guys are really surprising announcing all these things mm -hmm. and, and yeah, they they are mentioning they work really really hard on that. So uh, I can I, I I can appreciate that because. Um, um, as an Android designer, um, I use a lot of the guideline. Their yeah, guideline is very, very complete. Uh, even though there's some details, you know, like still a little bit missing here and there, but compared to two years ago, it's a yeah, huge change. Yeah, very, very explicit. It's like a ton yes, of information. Yes, yeah. definitely. It's like it's like my go-to Bible kind of things. Like exactly right. Whenever I design, I'm like, mm, no, this is something I'm not too sure. Let me check the guideline, <laughs> and they give me the answer. The one thing is very important about this guideline is because it gives the assurance to the user that um, they can worry about the, um, solving the problem instead of like having to think that what kind of interaction back then it's good for this use case and stuff like that. They, they don't have to think about it. Google already have listed out the uh, preferred way or, or suggested way right, to do right. that. They just need to apply that and solve certain problems. Mm -hmm. Of course, it doesn't apply to all the problems, but for majority problem that they have been facing nowadays. It's a good foundation. Yeah, it's a foundation that yeah. definitely works very well. Is there anything particular, like is there, is there, is there like a very, is there a, a, an interaction pattern or just even like a, a principle of design like, yeah. that, that you think is your favorite part, that's something that kind of really spoke to you, like the idea of metrics or the elevation or or even just kind of like the new way of the, you know, the kind of the new 
rules of doing like selection? Is there something that is just your favorite part that really was like I wanted that and I and now we have it? Yeah, yeah. I think I always I didn't mention it like publicly, but uh, one of my most favorite things and I, I, I feel um, that it's very really good to be in Metro Design is the Matrix part mm -hmm. where you kind of design in grid mm -hmm. um, like. 4DP kind of things, mm -hmm. so it's it's really really nice. It's mm -hmm. because it, it, it kind of it's a constraint, like 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 uh, you know like our our good uh, Matthias, uh, oh, our god designer kind of thing. <laughs> he's saying that you know if there's no constraint, it's not design, it's art. Right. So oh, if there's yeah. constraint, you know you are designed around that constraint and you get the best design mm -hmm. and you get the best solution for a problem. Mm -hmm. So with that great art. Um, I mean, it's 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 some some are related to the visual part with the grid pattern, mm -hmm. but you kind of have that constraint and you limit yourself so that you actually get to the solution faster. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and and in visual style, you get green light design very nicely aligned mm -hmm. and all those stuff. And it helps a lot in um, um, user interaction because the user doesn't have to be like, oh, what is this and what is that, and we clearly define that. This should be here. This should be there, and the user doesn't need to spend time like, to think over again. Right. What is this? Naturally, yeah, naturally yeah, knowing natural. that this is Android, and this, the, this is the way that they show this, and you should not worry about. Um, you cannot. I, I mean, you, 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 you will not confuse, or you will not expect something else. Right. Yeah. Right. You can always have a consistent user experience. Right. Basically. It's, just, it's like a language, the interaction language. Yeah. Language. Different, yeah. So, um, say like you have like a someone be a designer or even a developer that's new to Android and mm -hmm. design. Yeah. Um, what are your tips for getting started? Like, what what do you think is important for them to to get it to get their feet wet? A good starting place for someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually talked to a developer just now. Like, um, she's mentioning that she she have no experience in design at all, mm -hmm. and she but she wants to develop an app with good design. So I would say, I mean, from my point of view, I actually tried it on my. A uh, few developer friends, and and what I did is I'm just asking them to go through the guideline mm -hmm. and understand. Them. Right. Going through, just reading through is not enough, but understanding them why certain thing has to be done like that is very important because in a way you appreciate the entire um, design language. Right. And when you're implementing it, you don't have to ask yourself again why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. You already know why you are doing that because mm -hmm. this is the a suggested way of design language and make the whole things more cohesive, uh, more natural to the user because mm -hmm. the user doesn't have to <clears throat> um, reintroduce the new user interface. They already know, okay, this floating action button is the main action. Right. right. These things and that. So, yeah, I think the very first thing is go through the guideline and understand them, appreciate it mm -hmm. before you actually jump into, you know, want to make a redesign of it. Applications and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's very uh, a very important first step um, before designing a good right. app. Yeah. Awesome. So giving themselves a good base. Great. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Where can people find you on the internet? Um. You, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can find me on the blog. Uh, my blog is uh, AndroidUIUX.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can also find me on Google Plus slash uh, Plus Tailoring. So my name is Taylor. So yeah, just feel free and ping me if you have any questions. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, have a great I.O. and a great flight home. And so that was Android Dialogues with Taylor Lane. See you next time.